Assalamualaikum and greetings to Dr. Abu Ubaidah and my fellow friends. Today we are going to explain about our robot which is window cleaning mobile robot. Our group member consists of Muhammad Anas Shah bin Manan, Nur Alwani binti Samad, Ifa Izati binti Halid, Siti Aisyah binti Muhammad Kairun, Nuruz and lastly Nur Zainani Zaini. We choose to name our company as G7. Assalamualaikum and hi, my name is Siti Aisyah. Uh, I will explain the introduction. Cleaning a residential window in one's home is much easier. Window cleaning mobile robot can save time when having a busy daily schedule. The window cleaner combines the latest cleaning technology with automated movement. It will stick to the window to clean the entire window automatically. This allows to overcome the high windows that someone can achieve with manual cleaning method. Thank you. Assalamualaikum and good evening. My name is Ifa Izati. For the problem statements, usually people will clean their window manually using a window wiper with their own hand. It is easy for them if your window is low and easy to reach but problem will occur if the window is high. They need to use a ladder, chair or broomstick to reach the window. It takes a lot of energy and wastes time even though, they, even though they can use that time to complete other work. Thus, this window cleaning mobile robot have been created to reduce people's energy consumption and time wastage. People just have to watch this window cleaning mobile robot to do his work while they do other work. Thank you to my friend. My name is Nura Zayani Denti Zayani and I will continue about the objective of our project. First is to design and build the mobile robot that can clean the window on their own or autonomously. And second is to get the investment funding from venture capitalists. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hi, my name is Muhammad Asyah Bimada with the matrix number of AE1-A006. So in my part, uh, I'm going to demonstrate uh, of uh, how our robot is going to work. So first, uh, let's go to our URDF file from the source of the Jackie workspace. So uh, as you can see right here, uh, the feature that we are using uh, for this robot or uh, the uh, window mobile cleaning robot is the uh, Hokuyo uh, sensor, uh, LiDAR sensor. So, uh, as you can see right here, I have altered a little bit, which is the position, uh, which is uh, in the X axis is negative 0 0.01, also the Z axis is 0 0.13. And uh, the pitch of the, uh, the LiDAR sensor is also has been altered into 0 0.58. Uh, later on, I will explain uh, why I'm using uh, this particular value. Okay, uh, so without wasting any time, so uh, let's start coding. So we have king space right here. So we're gonna initiate um, our, our workspace from the cat king. Okay, seems okay. And yeah, so the next step is uh, we're gonna extract the source for the robot to be initiated. So this uh, load of set of ash. Uh, and yeah, and the next is we're gonna launch uh, or we're gonna spawn our robot, which is the ROS launch. And our robot is still as if on one. And we're gonna launch the glassy pool. Right. So should be okay. And let's finish right here. Yep. Uh, everything is okay. So let's see our robot. Okay. So uh this is the reason of why I'm using the uh pitch value 0 0.58, which is um in this case um I want uh, my sensor to be uh, just intersecting uh, front edges of our robot. Uh, this is to ensure that uh, we maximize uh, our sensing of the uh, surrounding objects 
uh, by the LiDAR sensor because if, if we're gonna use the pitch of zero, uh, we need some bigger or higher walls uh, in order to detect uh, the objects. So if our pitch is 0 0.58 and it is shoot under our robot, so uh, we can detect the nearest objects in front of our robot. So uh, that is, uh, right now I'm gonna do the control movement of this robot. So yeah. Uh, let's see. So this is the keyboard control uh, command. Uh, just paste it and yep. Okay, so it's alright. And the next one is we're gonna run uh, the keyboard command for the controlling of the our robot. Okay, now uh, so let's see right here. Uh, we don't have to change anything out here, just minimize it. So we go so we go on to our robot. If you see right here, we have no world. Let's say uh because because of uh, this is a window mobile robot, so uh, the robot must be placed on this particular area more or less. Okay. So uh our robot is uh, actually we target to be and autonomous uh, mobile robotic which is we just use the artificial intelligence uh, to operate uh, the system uh, of our robot okay so uh, let's see right here so uh, our keyboard is this one okay so let's see from the top view okay so this is the top view of our robot okay so uh our command is uh, we're gonna uh, revolve it to the left a little bit, okay? So quite a little bit, okay? And then uh, we're gonna rotate it again uh, in the other way, okay? So run like this, okay? Maybe uh, a bit too much, but this is okay. All right, and then uh, we're gonna skip a little bit, so uh, more or less our robot will be like this. Uh, the next thing is we're gonna move the back side of our robot. We're gonna make it uh, perpendicular uh, to the x axis. Uh, what I'm gonna say. Okay. So as you can see right here, we have make it perpendicular uh, to our wall. Okay. So uh, right now, uh, we're just gonna have to just a little bit. Okay. Uh, okay, this is good. Okay, so uh, the next step is uh, we're gonna do the uh, final movement of our initial position. Okay, so this, it's gonna be like this. This is the final movement of our initial position. So uh, for the next position, uh, we're gonna demonstrate like this. This just a little bit, uh, and then we're gonna make it perpendicular as usual okay as you can see right here okay and then uh, when it is perpendicular okay we're gonna move it like this so this is the final position or the inclining position okay so yeah. like this. okay yeah. So I think uh, that's all for my demonstration, so thank you.